All across the country, firefighters are answering the call of duty every single day. Ashley Home Store is making it their mission to say thank you to our community heroes by transforming tired firehouses into second homes they truly deserve. They did a really good job. Let's go check it out. Hi everyone, I'm Chelsea Pizzola and today we're here in Newport Ritchie, Florida. Growing up in Florida, I basically consider myself a native. And whether I'm at the golf course or at the beach, there's just something magical about this place. Having worked with Ashley Home Store in the past and being a huge fan of their brand, when I heard about this project, I knew I had to get involved. Right now, we're here at the Newport Ritchie Firehouse, and we're gonna transform this place into a home these heroes truly deserve. Let's go check it out. Chief Darling is the Deputy Fire Chief here at the Newport Ritchie Fire Station. He's been here since 2006 and leads a team of 33 courageous men and women. Firefighting is more of a lifestyle than it is a job. Um, all of us love our job. We, we actually love coming into work, hanging out with our comrades and, and helping the people around. It's a different type of profession because we work 24 hours on, all 48, so we actually live in the fire station a third of our life. Being a firefighter in the city of Newport Ritchie is a, is a pretty unique environment because we're such a small department that the family bond is there and, we, and the, the camaraderie is um, very close here within the city firefighters. Newport Ritchie is, uh, I love being a firefighter here. A little bit different than most departments because we're a little bit smaller. So we all take on multiple roles throughout it. So it's not like you're only doing one thing for so long. You actually get to do all positions and do a multitude of different jobs and tasks here. So it's a little bit more involved than some other places you might be. Um, and it's a tight knit, close grit group together. Uh, it's like a little family, so it's kind of nice working here. You are with like a family without your, your other family and um, just the, the different aspects and the diversity of all the different things that you get to do, you get to learn and you get to be a part of. It's, it's a great job. It has its stress and it has its demons just like anything else. You know, the, thing, the type of things we have to deal with, the type of things you have to see, and some of the stuff you have to do wears on you. When you, when you do the stuff we do and work in the way we work, see the stuff we see and, and, and do the stuff you do, just being able to come somewhere that you feel comfortable. To be able to go into a place that you feel is, is like your second home, you feel comfortable about being there, and it's, and it's like your space is tremendous. And by them doing this and helping us, it, it makes a big difference. They even are starting now to talk about the stress and anxiety and stuff that firemen have and, and ways, the colors that, to not use and to use inside of fire stations. You know, they really want you to stay away from reds because it creates anxiety. Stuff that you would never think about, now they're starting to look at and start trying to figure out a way to actually help us so that we can move forward and help ourselves. Joy Lane Padilla is the lead designer on this project from Ashley Home Store. I'm checking in with Joy to see all the exciting things she has planned. Hi, Hi Joylene, how are you? I'm great, how are you? Good. Okay, I have heard all about your designing skill and know you're an incredible designer and I can't wait to see what you have planned. Obviously, this is really different from some of the residential areas that you've done before. I mean, this is completely different. I, it is a functioning firehouse, so form and function are key here. It's top tier. What I'm always thinking about is really understanding how I can make their lives easier through design. Obviously, this is such a big challenge. Talk a little bit about maybe some of the challenges that you face kind of coming in and what some of the obstacles you've had to kind of go around. I mean, the biggest challenge, of course, is the time. Yep. I mean, their schedules are crazy. I mean, I don't want hammers to be going off while someone's trying to sleep. Right. I want them to be alert. That has been the biggest challenge. And of course, storage. Right. Storage is definitely needed. It's not just about making a beautiful space. It needs to function for what they need. Well, I know this is like a second home to them, and I know you're going to make it the dream spot. So let's go check it out. Let's go. Okay. 
Okay, Joy, so right now we're walking into the lounge, which is an area we know the firefighters spend a majority of their time. This is such an area of like comfort and relaxation. What is kind of your design ideas for this area? So this is gonna go through a complete modernization. I'm talking about ripping out the wainscoting, updating the paint, redoing the floor. We're going to take all these furniture pieces and we're gonna update them. Because as you see, not everyone gets their own recliner and I know everyone wants one. So we're gonna make sure everyone can get one in this space. So you talk about the recliners. Is that the main Ashley product you're gonna bring in here? Are there any additional pieces that you guys plan to kind of add in? Well, of course, with recliners, you can't forget about the TV. Yes. So we're gonna have a huge media wall and we're gonna focus on organizing all the movies and making sure it looks really nice for them. Okay, so when we walk in this room, we do see a lot of outdated pieces, but one thing that catches our eye right away is this incredible piece of work on the wall. When you walked in here, did you find any inspiration in that? Can you talk a little bit about that? Oh yeah, I mean this piece, it, I walked in and I stopped right in front of it. This is actually, it's made out of fire hose and one of the firemen actually made it. You know, it was definitely a little nerve wracking getting all the dimensions right. As I know having a American flag in the fire department, if you don't have it right, it's gonna get picked apart. <laughs> so it took some time to do that. And um, so it's been a pretty neat focal point here and it was uh, something I was happy to do. So something this cool, there was no way that I wasn't going to highlight it. Well, I cannot wait to see this finished room, and I think I might be hanging out in here a little bit. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Let's go check out the next space. For sure. Okay, we're now entering the captain's quarters, and as we can see, this space doubles as not only a place to sleep, but also a workspace. How did you kind of incorporate the design ideas for this room? So this phase, it's right now it is a multi-purpose room. Yes. So one of the big things that we're actually doing in here is we're going to enlarge the space. We're going to push that wall out about a foot mm -hmm. and really bump up the storage and create space where space is not right now. Right. Cause it, you know, it seems like this is such an important space to be able to enjoy and relax, but also get your work done. So I can't wait to see that. Talk a little bit about maybe some of the color palettes that you chose specifically for this room. Once again, I mean, the theme for all of the, the uh, firehouse right now is Zen. It's relaxing tones and it, without being too feminine, right? Cause I understand who my, my <laughs> yes. audience is. Um, but yeah, so we're going to have a couple of really interesting points that I don't want to give away just right. yet. <laughs> well, I can't wait to see them and I know that we're going to be, he's going to be sleeping good and also get a lot of work done. One of the things I did notice about this room is the flooring. Are you going to kind of change that up? Oh yes. I mean, right now we have this very vibrant blue flooring, which yes. isn't really the best, especially for a firehouse as mm -hmm. far as like cleanliness and upkeep. So we're going to rip it out. We're going to do a really nice modern vinyl. Well, I know he is going to love it and we can't wait to see it. Let's go check out the final space. Absolutely. Oh, wow. Okay, we're in the sleeping quarters now. First off, it's a little dark in here to start. <laughs> yes. And these finishes, they look a little outdated. So are you going to add any lighting, any finishes? What's first? Oh, no. Trust me. Everything you're seeing, <laughs> I've already seen. Uh, <laughs> and we're going to take all of the lighting and we're going to redo it. We're going to really bump it up. We're going to put it on a dim system because we do have to oh, consider wow. this is where they sleep. Don't want anyone turning a light on full blast. So right. If you need a little light, put a little dimmer on it. Um, the flooring, yeah, the flooring is a complete update rip mm -hmm. out new vinyl flooring going down wow. would look so modern so elegant we're really excited that's going to be incredible okay so obviously the space is kind of one of the more personal areas for mm -hmm. each firefighter talk a little bit about how you're going to enhance each personal space for each firefighter absolutely i mean this is where they spend so much of their time when they're not out fighting fires and right now they don't really have any storage they don't really have anything that would keep them comfortable. Mm -hmm. um, this is very uh, utilitarian right now and I want to take it, I want to make it homey, I want to make it a place where they can relax, especially after having such a hard day. Okay, so obviously this is kind of a space where the firefighters have a little bit of personal space. One of the main points was privacy, it was storage, and it was about being comfortable. Mm -hmm. Right now we have these little pony walls, I guess you could call them, um, that actually they shed light throughout each of the cubbies. So if somebody's sleeping, if somebody's mm -hmm. watching TV, you see everything. Wow. Well, I can't wait to see all of these rooms and I know they're gonna be dream rooms for each and every one of these firefighters. Let's get started. So 
first things first, we've got to clear out all of these rooms and that means getting rid of their old furniture because it'll be replaced with brand new, top of the line Ashley Home Store furniture. All of the wall fixtures have to come down and get ready for the new paint. Okay, so I wanna show you some options for the wainscoting. Uh, this board is going to be for the base. So. Yeah, I'm thinking this might get a little too chunky. Right. Um, so I'm actually thinking the thinner one, especially Me because too. we're doing the squares and I don't want it to be over complicated. Right. Um, this piece and this piece are kind of close in the same width and mm -hmm. it'll, it'll kind of blend a lot worse than if we just go with that. So yeah, I awesome. think we're on the same page with that. Yeah, I think it's going to yeah. look great. Awesome. Perfect. <laughs> great. With the wall option selected, the crew continues to demo and take out loads of the old wall paneling to the dump. Even though we asked the firefighters to relax and let us take care of things, they couldn't help but join in on the transformation. Now that the walls are done, let's get into the flooring. I just wanted to show you our flooring Great. choices. We're so excited to be working with LL Flooring and we have this fabulous modern wide plank wood look tile and these great color variations. I think as far as durability, it's really going to withstand um, the boots and the wear and tear of the of the firehouse. So it's going to add a little color, a little fun, mm -hmm. a little interest, especially too it's going to look amazing with the recliners we have going on right. And with that, it's time to get those floors up. Removing this tile is not an easy task. Jacob's crew has to get specialized equipment to drill the old tile up and get things ready for that new flooring. As they were ripping out some of the old drywall, I wanted to check in with Joy about some of the paint options. Oh wow, look at this color. Joy, <laughs> tell me what is going on here. So this is our first look at the paint. Um, I was in between a few colors, but this is just, it's feeling so good to me. Yeah. So for the paint colors, I really wanted to keep it calm and modern and bring it up. And this gray blue is just, it's gonna hold up so nicely throughout time. I mean, this is a firehouse that they're gonna use yeah. for years to come. And we're keeping it bright white with this, keeping it looking fresh and fabulous in here. I'm, I'm so pumped. So when you're choosing a paint color, give us a tip for those watching at home how do you pick a paint color and what's some good tips? I mean, that's great. I mean, picking a paint color is usually the hardest thing that mm -hmm. people find to do, but it's all about finding a color that will withstand the test of time, that will look good as your tastes change. Mm -hmm. It's so easy to change out throw pillows and blankets and rugs, but for paint colors, you don't want to move your furniture right. every time. <laughs> So it's all about just picking something that's gonna work for you and work for a long time. Yeah, well, I think this color works perfectly in this room and I know the firefighters are gonna find this room a place of relaxation and a place they're not gonna to wanna to leave. So I can't excited. wait to see it. <laughs> All right guys, so as you might be able to hear, construction is going on behind us and right now we're checking out the captain's quarters. Talk a little bit about what you're gonna do in terms of construction in this space. So with this space, the first thing that we're gonna do is actually blow this whole wall out and move it about two feet to give the captain a little bit more space in his uh, quarters. Oh wow, that's crazy. I know Joy was talking about the biggest issue in this room was actually space, so it's great that you're creating more of it. Yeah, and we're actually getting ready to blow this wall out right now, so wow. do you wanna take the first uh, hit or two before we get started? Me to hit the wall? Yeah. Oh, there you go. I mean, I've always wanted to do this, but let's give it a try. Right it. <laughs> that was so much fun. You sure you don't need me to keep going? Oh, we can keep you around. We need more help. So. Well, we need, you know, places that we can feel comfortable and have that time to be able to just relax and when we have that downtime so we can kind of relieve some of the stresses that we have and having a nice updated environment and a little more home-like and comfortable will definitely go a long way in doing that. Like what Axel Home Furniture is doing and just trying to help us make it better for my guys along with me is, is tremendous and really, like I said, it's very exciting. Uh, I think it's going to be great. 
uh, I, can't, I can't wait to see it. Um, it should be a complete transformation and uh, I'm, I'm excited. And our firefighters, in my opinion, they deserve the best. And it's great to have a design team that, that knows what they're doing, that's, that's professional in nature, that can come in here and, and uh, transform this older fire station into, into something um, great and something more livable for our firefighters. Even if it's fresh paint and fresh flooring and furniture, that's awesome. And we really appreciate it. being ripped apart, sawdust is flying everywhere, but things are looking great inside. Now I'm going to head over to the other side of town to check out the Hope to Dream project. Hope to Dream believes that every child should have a good night's sleep and a bed to call their own. Since 2010, Hope to Dream has provided over 100,000 beds to children in North America. Right now, the Newport Ritchie Fire Team is lending a hand as Hope to Dream provides mattresses, bed frames, bedding, and pillows to deserving children throughout this local area. Studies show that when a child sleeps well, they are poised to lead healthier and more productive lives. Better sleep enhances creativity, improves performance in school, and even boosts the immune system to fight off sickness. Giving the gift of sleep is a core value for Ashley Homestore and the proven impact that it can have for years to come. Ashley Homestore donates a portion of every single mattress sold to Hope to Dream because better sleep for children means a better world. Now let's head back to the firehouse and check in on the transformation. Wow. How cool is it to see all those families getting brand new mattresses? But they're not the only ones getting new furniture today. I'm super excited because the Ashley Home Store furniture truck is on its way here, right now to the Newport Ritchie Fire Station. They're bringing in everything from comfy recliners to expanded storage to new beds. This project is all hands on deck. Not only did the truck arrive with all the furniture, but so did a huge team from Ashley Home Store to help get things done in time. Let's go check in with Joy to see how things are progressing. Okay, so we're standing where the fire trucks normally are and there is a lot going on behind us. So right now we have so much furniture going into this build. We have professionals coming in to help us. There was so much going on, we just couldn't do it ourselves. Clearly, I mean, there's so much furniture behind us. Talk a little bit about some of these pieces and where we're gonna see them in the firehouse. They're going everywhere. I mean, storage is such a big component of this build, so it's right about having the right amount. We also have some really interesting textures happening on some of the furniture, and it's just, it's so exciting to see. Yeah, well, clearly we see kind of a color scheme going on. We see some plants over there. I can't wait to go check out where these are going. Let's go see. Let's go. As the Ashley Home Store crew is putting on the final touches, I'm getting ready for my favorite part, the grand reveal. I had a chance to walk through all the spaces with these guys and it's just seeing their faces throughout all of it and the changes that they see have happened for them to make this space their home, it's just surreal. Oh man, these <laughs> When I first walked in, my mind was blown. Everything about the room was exactly what we thought it would be. Joy did an outstanding job with the design and we are so happy for what she put together for us. So the, the transformation that's taken place uh, on the three spaces that were uh, redone is incredible. The TVs and the chairs are unbelievable and they kind of lined them up to where they have more of a theater atmosphere so that everyone could sit back and relax. And it was a little darker, but not too dark. So that if they do have time to catch a break during the day, they can kick back and relax for a few minutes. So in the first room, we, you know, we ripped out all the wainscoting and we had this like really modern and beautiful that's just really like, it just 
change the space. Like, and that's the best way to describe it. And redoing the flooring, LL Flooring provided this beautiful wood look flooring that I just couldn't get enough of. I honestly, I would have put it everywhere if I could. The lounge itself, the recliners, it's gonna be perfect for the seating. Everyone now has their own seat, is what I heard. Um, I heard they've all claimed their own recliner. So that's good. The chairs are really comfortable. We love the, the feel of them and also the uh, where we can plug our, our phones in and charge our phones because people don't know, but we use our phones um, to look up medications, uh, directions if we need to. So we actually need our phones charged all the time. So that's a great uh, help for us. Okay, so the fire flag was actually made by one of the firemen. It is an actual fire hose. It is real, they used it, and it was just out of commission. I saw that and I knew I was, it has to be highlighted. Everything that I put in this room has to be built around it. Wow. Uh, all the pillows. <laughs> and then the upstairs, again, that was a complete transformation. Um, unbelievable how well it looked. You know, the, you're actually proud to have people up there come in to see it. So uh, when I first walked upstairs, I noticed that the whole paint scheme was awesome. I loved the way it looks, the design, uh, the new lights that swivel. Uh, we didn't have any lights in our bunk area. The sleeping quarters was really a challenge. The walls, they didn't go all the way up, so they were missing a lot of privacy. Um, so we were able to come in, build those walls up, redo the flooring, once again, thanks to LL Flooring, um, and just make it a private, really cool space. And the walls were this yellowish beige, which really bounced off the light. So we darken the walls, it was really beautiful, um, dark navy. Uh, we sleep better. Um, the darker color actually helps at nighttime with not reflecting light upstairs. Some bunks, we have actually a pegboard wall, uh, which this is great for storage. Um, the new compartments where we can hang up all of our Class A uniforms that we have pressed and ironed, now we can hang them up and we have them organized in each compartment. And then the desk space upstairs allows the firefighters to have a little bit of privacy in a study area. Uh, and that means a lot to the firefighters because when you have a group of uh, more than, you know, three or four people working in the same building, sometimes it's hard to find uh, some privacy uh, and some quiet time to, you know, to get studying done and reporting done. So that means a lot. And the captain's office or the district chief's office is unbelievable. They actually extended it out and made it bigger before it was so compact. There's no room in there. The guys, when they come in, they have to talk to the chief. They actually have to sit on his, on his bed. Um, now we, they pulled the wall back and made it more open, made it bigger. So now they have chair areas sitting in there. And it's just a completely different transformation. So the captain's quarters was quite a challenge. Um, walking in, it was just, it was so cramped. Um, the space is meant for three, so it, we have to have three of everything, and you have three of everything in such a cramped space. So the first thing we had to do was bust the wall out, push it out about 15 inches, which really just enlarged the space so much, more than any of us really thought it could. And then by changing the flooring, changing the paint, we really just created this space where three people can work, can rest. Um, of course, not on the same shift, but it feels comfortable for everyone. Uh, just making that room a little bit bigger uh, really uh, increases that space to allow them to not only uh, work in there but sleep in there and uh, have three locker spaces in there. You know, when you, when, you, when you walk into something, if you live somewhere nice, it makes you feel better, which makes you work better, and that's, it, was, it was an amazing transformation. I cannot even believe that we were able to do such an amazing thing for these firemen. It's just unreal and it just, I, I'm just so touched to even be a part of it. Even in the slightest and the smallest way, they are all so deserving and I'm so happy I could give this to them. Could, couldn't believe how well it looked. Um, really amazing what they've done and what they did for us. We really appreciate it and I'm sure it's gonna make the guys very, very happy. Overall, people are happier. They, they're, they're excited to come into work because they feel at home now. And it really means a lot to our firefighters to have a space that they can relax in. And transforming the three spaces inside Fire Station One, which really boosts the city's efforts to revitalize and renovate this downtown fire station. Wow, what an incredible transformation to be part of. First off, I got to watch Jacob and his crew come in, 
rip up some flooring, tear out some walls. He even handed me a hammer to do some of the work. <laughs> then I got to watch a furniture truck roll in and give this place a completely new look. These heroes put their lives on the line every single day. And to witness them receive a transformation to their second home was truly heartwarming. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Chelsea Vizzola, and see you guys next time on House of Heroes. So they asked me to go down the fire pole. They said it was customary, I must do this because now I have made my imprint on the fire station. It was terrifying, <laughs> but of course I had to do it. The last thing they asked me to do was go down the fire pole, so of course I'm gonna go down the fire pole. <laughs> I just wanna preface, I'm scared of heights, um, but okay. <laughs> I'm gonna do it, I'm just take off laser, just go for it. <laughs> I did it once and I probably won't ever do it again. <laughs>